E, what's poppin'? So, in this tutorial, um, we're gonna make some workshop items. So, what you wanna do is right click on Rust, then go to Properties, and from Properties, I should open up this window. And from there, you wanna go to Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. This will bring you to, um, like the game files for Rust. And then you wanna go ahead and click Bundles. And you wanna go ahead and um, I have an extra file in here called Workshop, I believe it's called, and what you want to do is go make yourself one of those. It doesn't have to be named Workshop, I just named it that because, you know, that's pretty much what he's going to be, that's what the folder is going to be used for. So go create a new folder, call it wherever you want, and once you've done that, go load up Rust. So once you're in Rust, you guys know what the main loading screen or main menu for Rust looks like. And what you want to do is go to the bottom right hand side of your screen to where it says Open Workshop with the little paintbrush tool. And it should load a little bit, it doesn't take that long. And you'll be taken to the community um, workshop. So now that you're in the workshop, it's pretty straightforward. You've got your items on the left hand side and you can browse other people's um, creations using those three tabs up there. Um, so what you want to do is just um, go create a new new one and type is the type of outfit so I chose hoodie. Um, go ahead and click edit and the diffuse layer um, go save the texture to the disk and that will be um, the workshop folder that you created early on before I've got a lot but there shouldn't be anything in there first time off. Um, go ahead and click save you can name whatever you want. And once you've done that, open that file up in Photoshop and, you know, um, you know, do your thing. Um, this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to use Photoshop because I'm not going to say that I'm bad at Photoshop, but I'm, I'm not, not, not amazing at it. Um, but you guys know how to use Photoshop. Um, well, you can just look up a tutorial or whatever. And once you're done with that, uh, Export it as a .png. It has to be a PNG for it to work. Oh, I'm not sure. It might, it, you may be able to do it as a JPEG, but I just did PNG. Make sure the file's not compressed. Just makes it easier. So this was what it looks like before, or when you download it first off from the client, and this is what it looked like after after I put it in Photoshop. So go ahead, um, open up Rust again, and click on the diffuse layer. But instead of clicking on the triangle pointing to the disk, um, just upload what you had saved from before. It should put it in on the model and you can even come over here and check it out what it's um, like n not on the guy. Um, you can, you know, it, this, these meters you can be changed, altered, like um, you can change the color, um, like the fuzz. It, the fuzz doesn't really matter on the hoodie but for some items like the uh, hide, hide over coat, whatever you want to call it, that kind of changes it a lot. Um, go ahead and name it. You're going to need to name it something in order to publish it to the workshop. Um, I've already uploaded this previously, so I'm not going to do it again. But um, on your screen, if you've given it a name and everything, you can just hit publish. And it should, once you've published, um, take you through a small loading. It should just load. It doesn't take that long to load. And it should pop up like this on your profile. And other people going up able to do all that amazing jazz. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, how you make community items on Rust. I'm looking forward to see some of your um, creations. Um, if you need help with Photoshop, if any any people need help, I guess I could make a video on that. But I guess there are a lot of guides out there. You guys are pretty smart. Uh, you can might be able to work it out. If anything goes sour, just give me a heads up. Tell me in the comments. Have a good one.